What's up guys? It's your girl River and I am back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, hi my name is River. It's very nice to meet you. Um, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And as I always say, make sure you guys leave your comments in the comment section down below. It doesn't matter how you guys feel about this content. We all want to talk about it. Um, also, if you're not following my Instagram, go ahead and follow my Instagram. It's at r-i-v-a-h underscore j-o-r-d-o-n and you guys already know how i like to do i like to go ahead and get right into the video um going back to one of the subjects that jr um proposed to the panel and dress how you want to be addressed and it seems like that's been an ongoing conversation today specifically whether it be with the callers that called in or the different people on the panel that was talking about it and i think that the premise of that whole conversation was based around do is it is it logical or does it make sense that people naturally judge and evaluate people based off of how however people are presenting themselves so for example when you speak about like a, a woman that she dresses provocative or every picture that she posts on instagram is you know, top, not topless, but, you know, very skimpy or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. I think that there's arguments on both sides of the spectrum that says, okay, you can't just prejudge this situation, but then there's other people on the panel that's saying, how can you not prejudge the, yeah, how can you not prejudge the, the, this woman or man or whatever, however they present themselves and you that mm -hmm. focus so much on image, I'd like to get your insight or what you you know, what you think about that whole situation. Well, firstly, I also think that, like, people present themselves how they want to be seen or addressed or dealt with. So I think that it's natural that people will see somebody and uh, take take it for face value and then treat that person accordingly or feel like, okay, this is a representation of you. Start with Dave Chappelle. Mm -hmm. Start with Dave Chappelle. When Dave Chappelle uh, did the whole bit about running up to a man dressed like a police officer and she's in trouble. It's like, officer, 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 <coughs> ma'am, I need your help. Ma'am, you cannot, you cannot approach me that way, ma'am. I'm just, but I need your help. Well, and you're, and you're a police officer. Just because I'm dressed this way does not mean I'm a police officer. Mm -hmm. That's what he started off saying. He's like, well, conversely, ladies, if you're wearing the uniform of a whore, when someone approaches you and assumes you're a whore, you can't get mad that they approach you like a whore. Hmm. Now they understood it when the police officer was there, but we don't want. It's like you don't want to. You don't want it the other way. You're dressing provocative, and then you're getting upset that you get approached in a provocative sexual way. And the notion that human beings should not judge is just simply. It's just simply foolish. I think that if you dress in a provocative manner, I think that yeah, you are essentially you're you know sending off a certain message and some women do that because they want to feel that desire they want to be desired even though it's not in the right light and then in other ways it's like oh how can you think that i'm this type of person when da -da -da -da. but it's like i could see everything like there's nothing left to my imagination so at this point it's like what are you trying to signal like what do you what did you wear that for you know what i'm saying human beings have evolved to operate on archetypes Mm -hmm. The business of image says in seven seconds, people make up to 11 assumptions about you. It sticks. And that is a survival mechanism for the human being. Back before we had data, internet, such and so forth. If a woman were to see the, a male frame on the horizon, she had to learn whether or not that was me, J.R., Rella, or, 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 or Anton, our walk, our gate, coming back home, and they had to learn at a distance to say, that ain't how they walk. Right. That's bigger than female, not our man. Get the kids, get the stuff, let's go. Mm. Because if they got close enough into the village, the town, or whatever, wandering nomadic men aren't usually coming to help. They're coming to take your stuff. Right. Eat your food. Are your women... Take your kids and sell them. In. So women had to learn how to read social cues uh, uh, more than men because they were the more vulnerable. You learn how to look at somebody and determine by certain looks, certain stance, certain gates. Worldwide, what person is likely friend or foe, priest 
or or blacksmith. We look at individual cues. We look at somebody's hands and tell whether or not they're a a, a physical laborer or haven't done a day's work in their life. Mm-hmm. Why? Because we learn how to survive. The brain is is evolved to take in a lot of information and, and, and sort it in ways to make sense of a very complex world. Right. So to say that that doesn't work for image is just basically a bunch of people who don't want to be restricted uh, by the rules of I, existence. Go ahead. Can I ask a question, Kevin? Hi. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I definitely agree, as I've said several times uh, throughout the night, that... Um, you know, people are going to judge you based on how you look. You know what I'm yes. saying? I get that. If you show, and I think this is an example I used earlier, if you show up into an interview with pajamas, it's not going to go well. I get that this is a thing that people do, but I'm just going to ask you, if you see a woman with a low-cut shirt and a short skirt, are you personally, Kevin Samuels, going to treat her worse then you would treat a woman who was wearing whatever you might deem appropriate for the situation. When you no. mean when you say treat, what are you referring to? Whatever you think it means. No, what do you mean? Because I could, I treat people uh, one way, but my mind, pro- my thought process is going to be no, different. not your right. mind. You're right. You could think, and I said this earlier too. I'm I, I mean, I can choose. Up. Yeah, I can. You choose, can I mean, think I can whatever you want, but I'm saying, would you? Treat them like literally uh, the I'm, actions I'm, that I'm, you I'm, do. I'm, no, no, I, I would actually uh, do what's possibly socially acceptable, but I would not respect her. And would she get the right, same in your head, right? right and, and and would she be given the same benefit of the doubt that a woman who's dressed more appropriately in my mind would get? Absolutely, probably, positively not. Not until I got to know her. And see, that's the problem. See, and I think a lot of women, um, even women who say what she's saying right now, I think that this is an issue because. Every okay, you're asking one man, you're asking Kevin Samuels that, but you can't control like people are different. Some people have different standards, some people don't care, some people like just act, just move, just do things. So maybe Kevin Samuels himself would not disrespect him, respect that woman, maybe not Anton, JR, Rilla, maybe none of them. However, that woman has to know that when you are dressing a certain way. You know, you don't know what you're going to encounter outside, uh, and that's just being real with society and how it runs and how the real world is. So maybe Kevin Samuels will respect this woman, but who's to say what every any other man will do or how they'll treat her or what they will do to her? You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't make it right. Obviously, it doesn't make it okay because that's her choice and what she wants to wear. But it's just the honest truth of society. You would treat her with respect, right? No, no you see, you miss. You didn't get the rest. I would, I, she would, the perception she would get is she was getting the same treatment, but it right, would work perception. against her. No. I'm asking her. if you. Can I finish Kevin, my statement? Can I finish my statement? It'll make sense. Yeah, but you're, I feel, I feel like you're evading the question. I'm not you evading the question. I'm answering the question. Answering the question. You're not listening. I said I would sit there and treat her as a, I would treat anyone else, but she okay. would not get the same benefit of doubt. In my mind, she would lose she would lose credibility, and she'd have to overcome that confirmation bias. Right. See, right in your point. mind. Yeah. No, no. It, 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 here's the thing: is what is, is wearing is 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 wearing a low cut this or a high cut that worth having to overcome the inertia of confirmation bias that you cannot control or is it better to dress in a certain way to where people can understand who you are at yeah. first and you don't have to dig yourself out of a hole agreed. that's a choice we all have to make agreed kevin i absolutely understand that that's how people are you don't want to like if i go on a job interview i keep using this example i'm not going to show up in pajamas and then try to like uh, make up for it later. <laughs> like, I don't want that to be my first impression. I get what you're saying. And I know that people do that. Mm-hmm. I was just asking if you see a woman out with a short skirt and low cut shirt, are you going to treat her with any less respect than you would treat a woman that was dressed appropriately by your standards? Yes or no? For the fourth time, no. For the fourth time, no. Because I okay. I don't know that woman. And well I say yeah, hi exactly. But the but the point of the matter is exactly. is that the sum total of the interaction you will have with that person. Right. 
How do I know this person? Is it going to just be a, I'm just walking by and I'll see somebody? No different than I see a homeless person. I don't treat them any different. I, I, I don't not necessarily exactly. react to it, but to, but to say that those people, but that's in an instant. Right. No, I that's agree with you with that. Okay. You're right. I, and, and I think that maybe, I, okay. I think that Kay's stopping the conversation right there. She's asked the same question over and over again, and he's answered it the same over and over again as well. But I think that Kay is stopping her conversation right there. She's stopping the argument right there because she knows that if he, if the conversation goes further and he says, am I in a relationship with this woman? Because if I'm in a relationship with this woman, no, I'm not going to respect her. No, I'm not going to treat her this way. No, I'm not going to treat her that way. She doesn't really want the conversation to go there where she's no longer going to have like that grand, that ground to stand on to try to prove whatever point that she's trying to prove. When in actuality, as women, like it's just truthful and honest like yeah people are not always going to respect you when you go outside if you look a certain way that's just bottom line like that's just and and you just have to know that and you know a lot of these women nowadays they really don't care what people think about them and how society views them but if you are on the road of trying to be in a relationship or trying to get into a serious commitment with a man you will be your brain will be diluted thinking that a lot of men want you when in actuality a lot of men just want to sleep with you and that's not ultimately what you want, but you're just trying to be attractive and sexy. Oh, and my question to you is, do you make the same judgments we all make in the first seven seconds? Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely, you know what? People have been making these assumptions. Yeah, you're about not, you're not asking one. the question. People have been making making these assumptions about me based on, I don't know, but I definitely believe that there are judgments that happen to keep you safe, judgments that happen to, you know, you navigate your life in a way where you're going to judge situations, people, whatever. Okay, you asked me to answer your question directly. Did you, did you answer my question directly? What was your question? Say it again. Don't even know the question. Wow. <laughs> Do you make the same assumptions that we all make in the first seven seconds? I don't know. What are the assumptions we all make in the first seven seconds? Uh, let's see. Socioeconomic status, relative educational level, uh, uh, attractiveness, um, sexual orientation, uh, sophistication, education. No, I don't. Okay, it doesn't have to be all of them. It doesn't have to. It's just first impressions. Like, people always have a first impression of somebody. That's why there's so many conversations like, oh, when I first met you, I thought you were this. But now that I get to know you, I see that you're that. Like, people always make a first impression. So it doesn't have to be all of those exact details. But, yes, everybody has a first impression of somebody. All those. I would say the only one that I make is okay, so, so maybe attractive. Okay, so what you're saying, so what you're, so what you're saying is that the accepted science of image for all human beings, your brain doesn't work like the rest of the human brains on this on this on this planet. Why did you ask me if you feel like it's not? I wanted to see if you I wanted to see if you were going to at least understand that you are human and your brain is evolved like the rest of our brains. Whether or not you accept that they exist, that's how we've evolved. Mm -hmm. I'm human. I definitely Well if you if you're human that, that means that means your your core code is the same as the female of the species and my core code is the same as the male of the species so whether or not we're in the first world country or whether we're right outside of the outside of the stone age it is evolved in a similar pattern that's it happens it happens in an instant you don't it doesn't you don't even get a chance to get to your conscious brain Mm -mm. This happens in your unconscious brain, your mm -hmm. primitive part. The brain stem is where this happens. Mm -hmm. So for all of us. That. <laughs> well, I wanted to see if you accountability. That's why. Just accountability to see if you're gonna be like, yeah, or if you're gonna be like no, and you were like no. So well, because <laughs> you asked me to be direct about a question, if I wanted if you could be direct. Like, but 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 you but you didn't answer the question. You said, "Well, what are those things? The same things that are evolved." Yeah, because I didn't know what they were. Well, and that's my point. You judge too. Mm -hmm. Everyone, ju I did. That's I you. Never said. Yeah, I agree. Everyone judges. That's why I like my door at night. Like, 
Yeah. But Kay, but the but the but Kay, <laughs> what you said was that we shouldn't judge. That's what you said. <sighs> I that, said that exactly people should not said. treat someone with disrespect or whatever based on how they look. No, because the the questions that you asked as a follow up in order to try to prove your point was based off of whether or not we judge people based off of the look or if they walk in behind us or if they you, got a hoodie or if we judge people in the, if we judge men and whether or not they, you know, going to be violent and or whatever I literally like that compared, said, compared to, to compare don't have to listen. Compared, compared to whether or not we judge women according to the to what they're wearing and you were saying that you don't do that and we shouldn't do that because X, Y, and Z. That's exactly what happened. I literally said you can think whatever you want. You can think whatever you want. Run the tape back. I said you can think anything you want. <laughs> My only issue is with you treating someone negatively because they, you feel they don't meet up to the standard. Well, what's the point of saying that? Like, what, what is the actual point of asking that question, to be honest? Is it to prove that you can dress however you want to and it's okay? Is that what it is? Because I'm, I'm just confused at this point <laughs> as to what the point of that follow-up question is if she's not agreeing with what Anton is saying that he assumes that it is. Of whatever you feel like they should look like. I you think can that think whatever you want. I, I think the disconnect is when you're saying someone is being disrespected or someone is telling you that I don't have respect for a person. So therefore, I can say, if I see a woman walking out with everything out, dressed like a stripper, I don't have any respect for her. It doesn't mean that I'm going to go out my way to disrespect her. Exactly. But, but that's what we've been saying. So well, and that's what I'm saying. I don't have to respect you, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to go out to dis- No one on this panel has ever said we're going to disrespect okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. No one on this panel has said we're going to disrespect someone. What we've said is that the way that you carry yourself, the way that you dress, determines the respect value that you will get from me. And I have literally been agreeing with that this entire time. Oh, my I've God. Made you know, no you're saying, well, well, you're going to disrespect. No one here has said that we're going to go and slap somebody for having their boobs out. But what and we're saying I is that. Say, hey, Asha, I know you had a question. I don't have any too, right? thought. And I didn't say no one has a thought about. I mean, personally, I understand that. I understand what's being said. I personally don't move that way, but I'm a woman, so that doesn't really matter. <laughs> like, it doesn't really matter how I view things. I'm like a vibes person. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm an energy person. Sometimes people can be so respectful to you, it doesn't matter what they look like. Um, and otherwise, there's some people who can be so dressed and covered in this and be, just be nasty and disrespectful. But I'm a woman. This is. This is from the eyes of a man coming into a relationship, uh, trying to, you know, if you're somebody who wants to be married and how you want to be viewed. So I'm just saying that just for the record. Somebody wears. I specific, I agree with you, Courtney. People are going to think certain things based on how people look. That's how it is in society. Mm-hmm. I absolutely know this. I know it. I mean, I'm like I said earlier, I'm not dumb. I know this. My only thing, you can think whatever you want. You can think the girl with the short shorts is whatever, whatever. As long as you don't treat this person in a negative way, that's it. You can think anything you want. But who is, okay, but for this point that she's been saying for uh, like maybe 10 minutes, who is she speaking to? Like, who is she speaking to? Like, oh, you can think whatever you want, but you can't treat her bad. Who is she speaking to? That's my question. Who is the audience that she's talking to? Because the the man who would disrespect that woman would disrespect her as well. So. Well, I, have, hold on, I agree hold on, with hold on, hold on. that. I don't, and people are a, going to think things. Hold, hold on. But it's so, so outside you, of the thought. Hold on, hold on. So... Are you honestly trying to say that a person can dress in a, a, a way and they're supposed to get equal treatment at all times? Um, no. As I said earlier, if somebody comes to my wedding in a swimsuit, 
people are going to be like, what's going on? And I said so this what's earlier. Difference? So what's the difference? Difference between what? I mean, I don't understand your point because at one at one hand, it almost sounds like it's an absolute. You can think what you want, but you should never disrespect the person until mm-hmm. these until these scenarios happen. If they come to your wedding in a swimsuit, or if they yeah, show, you should... or they show up to a job interview in pajamas, right? Mm-hmm. Who gets to decide that list? Anybody gets to decide it. I understand well, then, that in your, our, then your, your in our society. Falls, hold on, man. Hold on. Then your example just falls apart. Because if anybody no, gets doesn't. to decide. Yeah, let me, can I finish, please? Because if just like oh, you okay. could say your wedding or your job interview, I could say if you show up to the shopping mall dressed that way. Mm-hmm. I get, You said mm-hmm. anybody gets to decide. So I get to decide just like you do. So your wedding could be my shopping mall. Because right. I'm out here because I don't want to see that. I got my, you got your, your nephew, you got your kid. For whatever reason, if we all get to decide, that means your example falls apart based upon what you just said. Yeah, I get what you're saying. And that's what I've been saying the whole time, that <laughs> anyone can decide <laughs> whatever they want to think. I agree with you, Kevin. You can think whatever you want about the woman with a bonnet. You can think whatever you want about the woman in a swimsuit at the mall. You can think whatever you want. I completely agree. Every single person gets to decide what that threshold is for them. I'm not arguing that. My point again is that you cannot or you should not treat these people so if she oh, showed up at your exactly. wedding and if she showed up to your wedding in a bikini, you treat her with respect. If a woman showed up at my wedding in a bikini, yes. I would pull her to the side and be like, "Why are you in a bikini at my wedding?" Okay. <laughs> you would kick her out. Kick her. I mean, you would kick her out. So yeah. you would like, you, you got to go. She said because you because go. all, this is all I had to wear. You treat her with respect. Um, I'm not going to disrespect someone that clearly might have some kind of issue going on because why did they show up to my wedding? She's evading the question. The bikini. And if she's getting, oh, this is the most cap thing that I. Yeah, this makes sense. All the shows. Okay, okay. I'm gonna just be real with you. All the shows. No, no. You get finished. Let's go to Ashley because she had a. I'm I'm coming to you, Ashley. But of all, I just got to say this: of all the shows that I've ever done, and we have been, we've done a lot of shows. Okay, this could quite possibly be the biggest cap I have ever heard. <laughs> because I'm saying that I'm not no no exaggeration. Somebody. I don't think based exaggerate. on their clothing. Yo, okay, go ahead. Okay, would you kick her out your wedding? Yeah. Would you tell her oh. she has to go, guys? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It's so funny because in the comments too, I saw people saying like, "Oh yeah, you know, River don't like K," and that's not true at all. Um, I definitely feel like K is super necessary for this platform because without K in the mix, like the conversation would just be everybody agreeing with each other. And I think it's necessary for somebody to have opposing views so that the conversation can continue. So that's not true at all. But, um, (laughs) let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I definitely want to hear you guys feedback um make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel don't wait join the family (laughs) hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell if you're new here i do post a video every single day the time varies so just hit the notification bell so when i do post you'll be the first one notified also if you're not following me on instagram Follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. I thank you guys so very much for watching. And as I always say, I love you guys. You already know that and I mean it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Love you.